yeah, we, um, we came into the game and whatever, we wanted to use it as an opportunity to give players some minutes and see different players in different positions and with always with the league as a priority in mind. So, you know, I think I said to the girls at half time, I said to the girls before the game actually, you know, China are preparing for the World Cup and they want to have a good test and go and give them one. And I felt that we, uh, we did that and more really. I thought she did great, I thought she did great. Um, tough when you have to change sides too. Um, her natural side is the right side. Um, but I wanted to make sure that all three of the centre backs got some minutes. So, no, I thought she did brilliantly. Um, I actually thought between the two 18 yard boxes, you know, in terms of movement of the ball and defending, it's probably the, one of the best performances we've put on for a long time, actually going way back into last season. What do you think you can take away from this match in Chicago? I said to them at half-time, the, the disappointing thing for them is they've set their standard now. I thought in the first half, up until they scored, I thought that was the best performance we'd put on. Um, and we haven't, done, we haven't played like that this year, in my opinion. Um, and unfortunately now, that's, that they, if they drop below that, I can say that they need to step their game up a little bit. Um, and we've had a tough start to the season, I think, you know, from ourselves, you know, decisions not going our way and a bit of luck here and there. And, and we didn't need that tonight. We, we just played the game in the right way, the way we want to play it and dominate it. And, you know, we were disappointed to go in um, a goal down, but I thought we responded really well. So it was, it was a fantastic test. Um, and, and, a great outcome for us because we didn't win it um, and we didn't have enough shots on goal to win it, but we definitely dominated the game. No, I actually think that, you know, as a coach, you make decisions, giving players time off, bringing them in, um, and, you know, you get, you worry about the decision that you've made and, I think at the start of the season, we had a tough schedule. And in reflection, we probably should have had more days off than what we did. And then the girls having a week away, you know, refreshing. Um, being a lot of us went and saw family and, and then we came back. And this week's been great. It's been a really good training week. And I think they showed that on the field. Yeah, Jess is the worst player to have on your bench because she does not stop nagging you to go on all day. I've had it all day. Um, and that's her, you know, she wants to play, she wants to have impact, she wants to, um, she wants to be better. And the reality is, you know, we needed to use the game today as an opportunity to see what we could do against Chicago without her. Um, whilst you know, giving her some minutes so that she's ticking over, because I think if she didn't play for three weeks, I, I wouldn't want to be around her. So, um, yeah, it's a tough one, but you know, we've got to deal with it. And with that, you know, getting to see how the team is with mm -hmm. Jess, how do you, what do you think of that? I thought we were great in the first half. I th honestly think with the ball, it's, it's possibly, it's a big statement. It's one of the best performances with the ball that we've played, ever. Um, I thought Amber did great, I thought Mariah did great, I thought Keelan did great. Um, we just need, we just said it at the end there, we just need to be better in 18 yard boxes, you know. We're disappointed to concede. Um, and we had so much of the ball and so many, you know, half opportunities that if we can turn that into goal scoring opportunities, the game just becomes really easy for us. And we were, you know, inches away from making that happen. And one of the phases of play in the first half, if it, if it had ended up as a goal, it had been the best goal I've ever seen live, ever, okay, men or women. About the, the yeah, it was just, yeah, you couldn't write a script better. That would have been, I'd have probably walked away and never coached again.
big statement. Uh, looking at the, you came yeah. off the road, getting to the point yep. that this was the three, mm -hmm. how did the having the time off and that actually helped with that, or was that a tough <laughs> ride home? Um, we actually all went different ways, uh, which was probably a good thing. I actually went back to England from New York um, and spent five days mulling over that game just because I felt that we played well and we hadn't taken our chances and then we allowed the decision which I still everybody tells me and the girls are pretty honest that Jess didn't handball it um, and then I felt Kim's penalty was a stonewall penalty um, but that's the way it's going for us a little bit at the minute but we like tonight similar we need to make it that decisions can't change games for us. We have to make the game our own, um, and you only do that by scoring goals. Uh, yeah, I said to you, if you come off with blood on your face, then whatever. You know, I'd probably punch you if I was in the goal. So.